So we're back with another remix competition over at Rate My Mix. Now this is, once again, a remix competition. So you are free to take the multi-tracks and do whatever the heck you like. You can use just the vocal, you can use one element, you can do whatever you like. It's really about coming up with something completely unique. As this channel is called, Produce Like a Pro. It's not always about mixing. Obviously, having a great mix of your idea is gonna take you over the finish line and really impress everybody. Now we have Chloe, the artist, as a judge, but we also have Matt Lang, who's a very well-known remixer himself. He's also remixed the track, so you can listen to that. It's really rather wonderful. So first prize, the lovely people at Isotope have given us the music production Sweet Pro yearly subscription, an Isotope Aspire, Native Instruments Complete 13, Audient have given us an ID44 interface, Lewitt Microphones are giving us an LCT640TS, an LCT140 Air Stereo Pair, MTP440DM a microphone, and Lancaster Audio, the everything bundle, has all the IRs and plugins, of which, of course, there's the ODR1, which is an amazing plugin. Promix Academy, everything bundle, that's all the courses, which I think is like 50 or 60 or more courses than that even these days. And then, of course, a lifetime membership to the Produce Like a Pro Academy. Second prize is Isotope Music Production Suite yearly subscription again. Isotope Spire. Audient ID14 interface. Lewitt have kindly given us an LCT441 Flex, an LCT040 Match pair of microphones. And then of course the Lancaster Audio Everything Bundle, Promix Academy Everything Bundle, Produce Like a Pro Academy one year membership. Last but no means least is the third prize, which again is Isotope Music Production Suite Pro yearly subscription. Isotope Spire. Audient ID4 interface, a Lewitt LCT240 Pro microphone, the Lancaster Everything Bundle, Promix Academy, all the courses again, and produce like a Pro Academy one year membership. So, tons and tons of prizes. But I think the best thing about this is you get to hang out in a really great community over at Rate My Mix. Everybody's supportive, they all get to listen to each other's mixes. Remember, to whenever you post them, to tag them, and make sure you join Rate My Mix because you need to have people listen to your stuff and help each other out. So have a marvelous time mixing it. Now we're gonna to talk to Clo, the artist, who is one of the judges, Matt Lang, the remixer, who of course is one of the judges, and myself, I am one of the judges. And uh, let's get stuck in and talk to them. Hi, everybody. I'm sitting here with the rather lovely Clo and the rather talented Mr. Matt Lang. How are you both? Fabulous. I'm doing so good. How are you? I'm good. And I must say, Matt, you're lovely too. And Clo, you're talented too. And I am also fabulous. <laughs> so we are all good. So this is exciting. So we're going to do a remix competition, full-blown remix it, do whatever you want to a competition. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about having Matt here, of course, is he has already done a remix of this song. Of course, will be a link to that down below. So what I like about the fact that you've done this remix, because you pretty much just 
I mean, I think you made the verse more, more or less the integral part of the song. You almost flipped it on its head. Yeah, I mean, I, I flipped the energy where the uh, the breakdown or the choruses tend to be a little bit more sparse, um, with the very exception of the final chorus. Then that's you know everything all together and it's all full on. But I used the choruses actually more as the break between the verses, and the verses would be very groove oriented, and then the choruses would be lush and spacious. Yeah, I really absolutely love it. And uh, we had the original single actually was mixed by Mark Ender, who of course is unbelievable, one of the best mixers in the world. So this is a really great opportunity for everybody who wants to remix a, a freaking awesome song and uh, have the benefit of having Matt's track to inspire. And to let you know, because you took so many risks on it, that you, you can do whatever you like with it. You can keep one instrument, a vocal, a piece of a vocal, mm -hmm. kind of knock yourself out. Now, Clo, you judged the last one extensively. I, I, you, I mean, my hat's off for the hundreds and hundreds of hours that you put into doing this. I am so excited that we're doing another one for Sliding Doors. I mean, the Blackout Remix competition, it just absolutely blew my mind, the talent of the Produce Like a Pro community and how you can really take a song and go like a million different ways with it. So I'm just so stoked to see what everyone is going to do with Sliding Doors. Yeah, I'm so excited to log back on to rate my mix and listen to everything and talk with everyone. I really appreciate that when you, you were doing that and you were getting in. And, because one of the things we talk about, and Matt understands this even more than I do, is like, yeah, you know, you make music, you know, you, you do a remix for the label who hire you. But if you can't get the artist who, whose song you're remixing to love it, doesn't matter, you know, because yeah. they're ultimately they've got to stand behind it. So this is a big deal that you're going to be part of the judging. And of course, uh, Matt as our celebrity judge. You like that? Uh -huh. you're a celebrity. Hello. <laughs> Maybe in some very small circles, but I'll, uh, I'll take the hubris. <laughs> Thank you for that. It's going to be really, really fantastic. So once again, you can listen to Matt's mix. As, uh, it's not guidance. It's just a way of saying, look, you can really go to town on this. Obviously, Mark Endert's uh, original mix will be available to compare against, but yeah, anything goes. The one that won last time, and we ended up picking five, didn't we? Was uh, Thump Mux, wasn't it? And yeah. he went like super orchestral, and it also had a lot of like heavy stuff in it. It was pretty cinematic and massive. Yeah, okay. it was a huge track. I mean, all of the top five were very different, but they were all super unique and that's what I loved about them and that they just really stood out and took risks. And that's something that I love when listening to songs is where I can like hear the passion that they put into it. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to hearing everyone's different versions. I mean, Matt's is so amazing and um, it's going to be a great inspiration for everyone to listen to, to kind of get the wheels turning, but yeah, just take it and have fun with it. I'm so excited. So please check out the original mix and Matt's remix and have at it. Do whatever you think will be great. You've got to impress Clo, obviously. You've also got to impress Matt. And you know, you can impress me too. The one thing I will say, having remixed many, many things over the years, a remix should never sound like the original because then what's the point of having the remix? And even in like personal experience of mine, there was times where I actually did a remix that I thought was an improvement upon, like basically it took, it treated the original as a demo basically, mm -hmm. and it was swiftly rejected. <laughs> so <laughs> I've always found, you know, make it yourself. It's always, that's the most important thing is be unique. And if it sounds like the original, then there is no reason to even have your remix in the first place because we already have the original. So create something new. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to Enter by downloading the multitracks. Go to Rate My Mix. Sign up over there. You've got a month to mix this. Remember, it is a remix competition. So you can do whatever the heck you like. You can put a banjo on it. You can turn it into a death metal song. You can turn it into the loudest, most slamming EDM track of all time. You can make it in a trance track. You can make it reggae. You can do whatever you like. The last winners we did were all over the place. The, the winner that Chloe chose last time was like heavy with orchestral and programming. But then other winners that she chose were like funky and then another one was like purely dance i mean there is no genre you know what wins the best 
remix. So have some fun, download the multi-tracks, join Rate My Mix. Thank you ever so much for watching and we'll talk to you. Oh, and most importantly, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Our last first prize winner was in Brazil. And if you know anything about shipping, we did have to pay a lot of extra money to get it shipped there because of all the taxes. And Eve and Audient and the other hardware companies were very, very kind. Now, it might take a long time to ship to some of these countries, but you know what? We'll get behind it. It is very important to us that no matter where you are in the world, you can win this. So thank you all of the companies that do this, that are supportive and will ship anywhere in the world. I noticed 99.9% .9 of competitions do not do that. We do because this is a global community. It's not just based in Europe and America. It is global. So please, wherever you are, remember, you can win. We don't check. We don't know where the winners are from. So when we announce the winner, it's just the best mix that we loved. Okay, have a marvelous time. Download the multi-tracks, go to Rate My Mix. You've got a month to do it, remix it, do whatever you want with it. Just make it great. Thanks ever so much for watching.